let's get ourselves a tasty snack by creating our own custom crop in Minecraft 1.16.5. Let's see how to do that. Alright, we found ourselves in IntelliJ once again, and let's actually create custom crops. Now, custom crops are a little more complicated than the things we've done before. I'm fairly certain that we will easily do this. Let's start by making a custom block class instead of the custom package new Java class. This is going to be the oats block. So if you haven't figured it out, we're going to add oats to the game and this is going to extend crops block and the crops block will, will hover over this and then say create constructor. We will also need to overwrite two methods. One of them is going to be a protected I item provider called get seeds item and this will later return oats. At the moment we don't have an oats item so what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this with return null for the time being and then after we have implemented the item we'll come back and add that in here and then we also need to override the get shape method. Now this is a little bit more complicated because we actually want shapes depending on how old so to speak the oats block is. So the oats block are the crops that are inside of farmland and that grow each progressive time that the game ticks along or if you apply bone meal to it for example then it grows as well. And the thing I always advocate is to simply look in the vanilla source code so we can simply middle mouse button click on the crops block and then you will see that there is a whole bunch of stuff in here. Most of the stuff we actually don't need. What is interesting to us is the get shape method as well as as you can see it returns the shape by age voxel shape array here and this is something that we want to copy over so we'll we'll select this control C and then we'll paste it in here control V and then let's just make this a little bit nicer to see so something like this. And now you can see the voxel shapes by age and what you will see is that the Y here grows by two every time that the age so to speak goes up. We implement this with this get shape method so we'll copy this as well and put it in here as well. Let's also add an add override to both of those. This isn't strictly necessary but it's nicer to see what is overridden and what not. And if we go back to the crops block, you can also see that there is an integer property. Now we've not really talked about properties in detail and we're not going to at the moment. However, the idea here is that we have different ages, in this case age 0 to 7. And you can also see there is an integer get max age. So if you want a crop that has different age from, for example, wheat, which this would be, so this would be the wheat block, then you would also need to specify it here as well as make another integer property. We're not going to go into that at the moment. What we do know is that we have ages 0 to 7 so we have 8 ages and if you know this the shape by age also has 8 different entries going from 2 to 16 in terms of the y2 parameter so the height there is determined by its age. That's the rough explanation here. There's a little bit more that goes into it but overall this shouldn't be too crazy. If anything is unclear you can of course always leave a comment and ask a question and I'll be sure to answer anything that might come up. The old block is done for the time being. We can now create a new register object and we're actually going to make this by hand so public static final registry object of type block we're going to call this the oats and this one has blocks dot register oats underscore crop and then we're going to make a new oats block and then we're going to say abstract block dot properties from and then say blocks dot wheat there you go why are we using blocks.register instead of register block? Well, that's actually a very interesting thing. The thing about it is that we actually do not want a block item for the oats block. You don't have a block item for the actual wheat that gets placed. The block item for that is the seeds. And this is what's very interesting with this. So we actually have to make a new item as well. So there's going to be oats as well. In this case, we can simply copy the amethyst helmet and call this oats. It's going to be oats here as well. And then this is going to be a new block item. And this will have the mod blocks dot oats dot get and then no equipment slot here. And we will also add food to this just in a moment, something like this. And then we will also add food, new food builder dot let's do hunger one dot saturation 0 0.1 and then also fast eat dot build. And there you go. So this is the block item for the oats block. The idea here is that this is that they are linked together. This is why we do not use the register block method because this creates a block item and we actually want this block item to be created in our mod items class. We want to be able to return this as a seeds item here 
And that's what we're going to do. So mod items dot oats dot get. And now the oats block is done. We can actually close this. And then we have added the oats, which is both consumable as well as the actual seed. So this is very similar to potatoes or carrots. And one last thing we have to do in the code is go back to our tutorial mod class, go to the do client stuff method and then add a new render lookup here. So we can simply copy this over from one of the other ones and then just say oats right here. This is also the get cut out render type and then everything should work fine in terms of code. Now, of course, we still need the JSON files, which is always a delight. Best to go down to the external libraries to net Minecraft client extra 116.5 or whatever your version might be to the block states directory of Minecraft itself and then search for wheat. And then let's just take this wheat up. It's going to be a long journey because we're almost at the very bottom of the block states folder, but no worries. Let's just go through and we're finally here. And then let's add this to our block states and call this the oats underscore crop because this is the name that we have given our block right here, oats crop. I personally like to add the underscore crop here. This isn't technically necessary. You can of course also call this oats. However, do realize that then you might have an issue with this oats here. This is why I like to keep this separate. You can also make this a named block item. Let's not get into this. I personally think that having the underscore crop here is totally fine and it will not make your life any harder or anything. It's going to be totally fine. We have eight different ages from zero to seven. So this is exactly the same as the integer property that is inside of the crops block and it will look for different block models depending on its age. We'll select Minecraft here and press Control R to replace it with tutorial mod and then replace all. Then we'll select wheat, press Control R and replace that with oats, replace all. Once the block states JSON is done, we can go down to the vanilla JSONs once again in the models block folder and search for the wheat. We can actually copy this as well. So we actually don't have to drag this up, press Control C while we've selected all of them. Then let's go up very quickly and go to our models block folder here and control V. Once we've selected the block folder, say OK. And then all of the eight different JSON files are added as well. And what's very important for the block model JSONs for a crop is that it has the parent block slash crop. This is very important. And also, as you can see, the textures is looking for the crop and not all like it is in the when we had the block all parent. We once again want to change this tutorial mod. Let's actually copy this and then we get changed to oats. It's now looking for the oats underscore stage zero texture. And we will, of course, have to do this in every one of them. Change the mod ID to tutorial mod and the wheat to oats. Let's just quickly do this with all the other ones. All right, we're finally done. Now we simply need to rename them as well. So right click, refactor, rename, and then change the wheat to oats. All right, finally done. Now, if this seems a little bit tedious to you, then I can only say, yeah, it is a little tedious. Luckily for you, however, all of the JSON files as well as the entire project are linked in the description below. However, this is simply the normal way of going about this. So if you want to add a lot of different crops to the game, there's two ways. Either you do all of this manually or, which I actually think is a smarter idea, you probably write yourself a script that auto generates those files because otherwise I think that it will probably drive you insane. The last thing is the item model. I'm actually going to simply drag that over. I've already done this. As you can see, this is a very simple item model. It simply looks for the oats texture in our tutorial mod and then texture folder in the item folder. So nothing too crazy here. The other things we also need are the eight block textures. So those are right here. Let's copy them over. Of course, also available for download. This is oats stage zero to stage seven. And then let's not forget the oats texture as well. Last but not least, let's not forget to add this to our en underscore us json file. Very important here is that the oats actually gets the oats underscore crop as its key. And then the oats is what will be shown when you have the item in the in your hand. So this is a very interesting here, but this is simply because how we've done this, how we've made the block item, just so you know, this is how you would do it. Right, and after all of the JSON files, all of the code has been done, let's see if it works. Or right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft once again, and as you can see, I've already prepared a little field here. So let's hope that the oats are actually in game. And as you can see, the oats are in game. And if I go back to survival mode, let's see if I can eat them. 
And as you can see, I can eat them and they're also fast to eat. This is one of the things that we have actually done with the food builder. So those are fast to eat, so I can eat them fast. And let's see if I can also place it down. And as you can see, I can place them down totally fine and it works without an issue. Let's just increase the random tick speed for a bit and let's see them grow. And as you can see, there they are growing just like you would expect. Let's reset the tick rate again. And if I break them, well, nothing happens because we've actually not defined any loot table for this. And we're actually going to take a look at this right now. For all of the other blocks that we've added, I basically skipped over the loot table because usually you simply wanted to drop the block that you have placed. So in terms of the amethyst door or the pressure plate, usually this should be trivial to implement. You can simply take the amethyst block one and then change the amethyst block in here to, for example, the amethyst door. And then you have the amethyst door block easily enough. However, if we navigate it down to the Minecraft loot tables and actually search for wheat and open it up, you will see that there is a bit more to see here. And the idea is that, well, the block should only drop something if it has reached the age of seven. So we actually have to have some conditions here to take a look. Okay, what is the property age add? Then you're allowed to drop the weed seeds in this case, as well as some weed. And there's also a chance to get some extra weed seeds, which is also very important to note. So we can copy this weed JSON over and actually go up once more to our loot tables here, right here, and call this the oats underscore crop. Remember, this has to be oats underscore crop because we're actually looking for the block not the actual drop. And what we'll do is the block here is tutorial mod colon oats underscore crop. What we want to drop is tutorial mod colon oats. And we can copy this and have this in here once again. And then inside of here, we can have the, instead of the wheat seeds, we'll have oats as well with a, let's say extra five in this case. And then once again here, we actually want the tutorial mod oats crop down here and then it should find. So as long as there's no more wheat or wheat seeds in here, this should be correct. This loot table, of course, is also available for download in the description below because this can be sometimes a little bit complicated because there's a lot of things in here you only need to replace where it says wheat or wheat seeds. And let's see if it now actually drops the oats as well. All this work or just a few oats. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Let's see if it works. So if I now break the fully grown oats, as you can see, some oats drop right here and it is a well semi-random amount, let's say. There's actually quite a few oats that drop and I can, for example, also just replant them as well. And then let's also eat some because that's pretty nice. Just show you that bone meal also works on them as you can see. So this also works totally fine. And we have mastered it once again. This is how you add custom crops to Minecraft. Definitely a little more complicated than some of the other things that we've done before, but overall, definitely something doable. If you simply want something that works similar to wheat, then it's gonna be really easy to do. Right, and with that, we have reached the end of the tutorial. Like always, I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like from you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.